Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be going over notes and examples for section 2.8 on curve sketching. So to begin, I just want to look at this table here that summarizes some behaviors of graphs that we can determine from the first and second derivative. So in our first row, we have what is information about what is happening with our function f. So our function we can describe as increasing or decreasing and as concave up or down. So what does it mean for the first derivative when we are in these, these scenarios? So if our function is increasing, and I'll just draw a little cartoon here to help us out. So an example increasing could look like this, decreasing could look like that. Concave up is like this, concave down looks like that. So again, this is a cartoon of what a curve could look like that has these various properties. So then what's true about the derivative for such a function? Well, here, as we see written out in our table, if our function is increasing, then those tangent lines always have a positive slope. So our first derivative is positive. If we're decreasing, then our tangent lines always have a negative slope. If we're concave up, notice that our tangent values or our tangent lines rather, first have a negative slope, then their slope becomes zero, and then the slope increases. So the derivative itself increases because the derivative is that slope of the tangent line. Tangent lines start out negative, go to zero, and then get a steeper and steeper slope. And kind of in a similar way, if our graph is concave down, then that means our first derivative is decreasing. Notice that our tangent lines for a concave up graph start positive, go to zero, and then get negative and become negative larger and larger. So those tangent lines, their slope decreases. So that's our behavior of our first derivative from the function behavior of the original function f. So then what's true about the second derivative? Well, we don't necessarily have any conclusions from our second derivative when our function is increasing or decreasing. But we do have information about the second derivative when our graph is concave up or down. Similar to what we just learned about function increasing, decreasing, and then consequences for the derivative, similar for our derivative increasing, decreasing, then we have consequences for the second derivative. So if our first derivative is increasing, then that means the second derivative is concave up, or rather second derivative is positive. And if our original function is concave down, which means our first derivative is decreasing, then the second derivative is negative. So the key points that I wanna point out here is that we have information about our function based on what is happening with the first and second derivative. In particular, if we just look at the sign value, positive or negative, of our first derivative, that tells us about increasing, decreasing of our function. And if we look at the sign of our second derivative, that tells us about concavity of our original function.